She's got long legs and short shorts, but she ain't got no teeth. She wears a red bandana on her head, and she smiles so, so sweet. She'll steal your heart, a very fish sap should rip apart your soul. She'll torture your mind and waste your time and drag you down the road. Cause she's a Jezebel, St. Andrew Jezebel. Cause she's a Jezebel, St. Andrew Jezebel. Hey y'all, you're listening to the St. Andrew's Jezebel podcast. This is Ashley Feller. I'm a third generation Panama City native and I'm also a singer-songwriter. Did you know the mayor of St. Andrews is a dog? And not just any dog. Every year, the market at St. Andrews hosts a contest and fundraiser for the local animal rescues. Up to the event, local pet parents can enter their dog in the contest to become the Salty Dog Mayor of St. Andrews for a one-year term. Salty locals can cast their votes for the dog they'd like to see as the mayor for a $1 vote, and the funds go to support the rescues. This year, the winner is Sox, a senior chihuahua and rat terrier mix. His mama, Crystal Ford, is an animal rescue advocate and volunteer, and she is also involved with the historic St. Andrews Waterfront Partnership Community Involvement Committee. This Sunday is Sox's 14th birthday at the Tap Room from 12 to 4. Not only is this celebration for our mayor, but it's also a fundraising event for several local animal rescues. This is a special bonus episode, and I hope you'll tune in on Thursday for episode 42, which features Charles Segrist of the Crew of St. Andrews to talk about A Taste of St. Andrews, which is a fall seafood festival that will be happening this Friday and Saturday at the St. Andrews Marina. Enjoy! Today we are here with Crystal Ford, and we are here with Sox, the Salty Dog Mayor of St. Andrews. You can't see him right now, but I can, and he's awful cute. So... We have a very special day coming up, and that is Sox's 14th birthday at the Tap Room this Sunday. And what time is that, Crystal? It'll be from 12 to 4. Wonderful. And before we get into the specifics of the event, how did Sox come to be the mayor of St. Andrews, and how long is his mayoral term? Well, Salty Dog Day happens every year in St. Andrews. It is a donation-based thing that we do with the partnership, the Waterfront Partnership of St. Andrews, which is the local 501C here. And we raise money uh, for Operation Spay Bay. It's our local spay vaccine and neuter clinic. And they do a lot of great work here. So what happens is you enter your dog for a small fee, and then every dollar donated for the dog gets a vote and whoever gets the most votes gets to be the mayor for the year. And they also get to be the grand marshal of the pet parade and the um, Mardi Gras parade that the crew of St. Andrews puts on. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And has he been enjoying himself? I think so. He's uh, quite laid back as you can tell, but he loves attention. He loves people. He loves kids. He loves other dogs. So He's been making lots of new friends. He likes going out now and people recognizing him from his social media posts and things. So he gets lots of extra loving and treats from just random strangers out. It's really been fun. Well, I'm sure he has a fabulous social media manager (laughs) to make that happen. (laughs) So what's it like to be the mom of the mayor of St. Andrews? And what exciting things have you all been up to? And is there anything coming up? Well, in our political campaign, one of our things was beach cleanup, and we've had two cleanups so far. It's been a little weird this year with COVID and the weather and, you know, life in general. So we've only had two so far, but we'd like to do more. We did one on Beach Drive, and then we had another on the Hathaway Bridge. So we would like to do more of those. We did have the Mardi Gras Parade. We had a pretty good turnout for that. So that was fun. And let's see, what else have we done? Pretty much any time Megan with the market reaches out to us and says, hey, can Sox come by for this event? You know, we'll show up and do our thing there. We've tried to help highlight some of the local merchants when they have special things going on. And of course, our uh, Salty Kitty Committee, that is another fundraiser, is put on by the partnership. And that one's for the Salty Cats of St. Andrew's Rescue. So we, this was the first year it happened and we had four kitties get elected to our kitty committee. King Kenny, of course, of Little Village. 
is on the committee and his furry friends. So that was a lot of fun as well to get the cats circled in with all our salty kitties around here that Jackie with St. Andrew's Kitties takes care of. Absolutely. I, I love Jackie. She, we've had her on the show as well. And she was, of course, a, a delight to have here. And just a little bit of backstory, if I'm understanding this correctly, I seem to remember while reading over the different information about the candidates for the mayor of St. Andrews that Sox is actually a cancer survivor. Is that correct? That's correct. He had some mast cell tumors. He had one near his boy parts so that caused him to have some extra surgery. So he kind of looks like a girl now, but he still lifts his leg. So, you know, he still does his thing. He's had three spots removed so far and probably another one coming up this year and you know he's 14 but he's my healthy boy he's never had any health issues besides the mast cell tumors but we do like to help promote that with his mayor campaign to make sure that you're getting your pets in for their yearly checkups and pat downs and all that fun stuff to make sure that there's nothing um, wrong with them you know something like that could have been a bad deal and something serious if he wasn't checked up every year to catch it early and get it taken care of. And so his birthday party is this Sunday at Tap Room. Could you tell us a little bit about that, please? Sure. So in lieu of gifts, we're asking that you bring gifts or donations for his salty cat friends. So we're going to have the salty cats of St. Andrews, Mewtwo's Refuge, and the BFF Rescue are going to have a few kitties and puppies out for adoption and taking in donations as well to go uh, home with those guys. There are our local foster-based rescues, so they're always in need of food, litter, puppy pee pads, laundry detergent, cleaning supplies, all kinds of stuff that they need. We're also going to have a raffle, and the donations are going to go to those guys as well. We have quite a few good prizes, a few different gift baskets, a $50 Visa gift card, a $50 gift card to Dagny and Dexter's daycare. We're going to have a doggy cake made by Le Bon Tone Bakery. We're going to have people cupcakes made by Sugar Buzzed, our local bakery here in St. Andrews. De Nouveau, which is an 80s cover band, they're going to be playing from 1 to 4. We're going to have a few vendors, O-Sheet, all-natural laundry soap, Pupper Pops, Little Indigo Spa. We're also going to have the young lady that does the glitter cups at the market. She's going to come out, said she'll have some special ones for dogs and cat moms out there for decor. So that should be fun. There will be a food truck and of course the adoptable pets from those rescues that we mentioned. So right now we have a $50 gift card, a Visa gift card, $50 Dagny and Dexter's gift card, a basket of dog goodies, another big basket of dog goodies from Earthwise Pet Supply, a $20 gift certificate to Mego and Company uh, that makes specialty bandanas personalized for your pet. And there will be a bandana also in the raffle that was being donated from Mego. And I'm sure there's going to be more. Well, it sounds amazing. And I will most definitely be there. And so how did Sox come into your life? I actually had Sox's mother. It was back when I was young and dumb and, you know didn't have her spayed right away. I didn't have a whole lot of money back then. And she liked to gallivant in the neighborhood and things like that. We lived out in the woods. So there was a stray dog in the neighborhood and I had no clue until she blew up. And I was like, oh, well, I guess we're having puppies. So I had his mother, his brother and his sister and then his kitty sister. So I've had him his whole life. He's just his mom and brother there, his mom was full chihuahua. His dad looked like a rat terrier, very leggy, tall boy. So that's where he gets his legs from. But my dogs weren't your normal chihuahuas. They've never been barky. They've never been snippy. They've always been real good with people and other pets. So he's just the perfect boy now. So He's been a really good mayor. Everybody's been very impressed with him. He's so dignified sitting there in your lap. And what's something that you wish the public knew about animal rescues? 
So locally, we don't have very many shelters. We have animal control, which is a kill shelter. Lynn Haven is not. But otherwise, all of our rescues here locally are all foster based. So they need fosters. They need donations. I mean, I know Jackie and Lisa and all these guys are paying a lot of stuff out of their own pockets, you know, so as much help as that they can get, you know, if you can't foster, maybe you can buy a box of litter every month, you know, whatever you can do to help out with them would be great. There, a lot of them go through helping animals in the 850 Facebook page and they communi- communicate there with where they're going to be with their adoptions and their needs. So maybe somebody has something happen with their pet and they can't afford their vet bill. People have reached out on there and they've come together and try to help raise money or take care of the vet bill wherever they can to help them as well. So, you know, you hear people abandoning their pets because of something might happen that they can't afford or, you know, whatever happens, there is help out there if you just ask, look for it. So they're doing a really good job in the community with that. I also volunteer at Aliqua Animal Refuge in Freeport and they're doing great things. It's getting big. We're about to move to the new facility on Highway 20. We're going from 10 acres to 100 acres. So it's going to be huge. And there's going to be so many things that are going to be available to the community. We do equine there. So we've been doing adults with special needs, but we're also going to start doing wounded warriors, cancer patients, you know, different things like that, that people need the therapy for that kind of stuff, it's going to become available out there. So it's going to be awesome once it happens. And it'll be any day now. That sounds amazing. And that's just wonderful of all those things that all the rescues do for the animals and for the community. And I'm especially excited to hear about the equine therapy. That's Mm -hmm. that's something I've read about. And I've, I've heard about the transition to the new place. And it's on 20, right? Correct. Yeah, it's just to the west of Bruce, the Bruce cutoff. Yep, between Bruce and Freeport. So it's before you get to 331, I think it is Mm -hmm. there. So it'll be a little bit closer than it is. It's about an hour from here to the current facility. They're closed right now to the public due to, you know, COVID and everything else going on. But once we get to the new facility, it'll be a lot more open. I had cancer a few years ago. And just going out there and volunteering, it was therapy for me. You know, some days I would go out and just volunteer for the puppies so I could go cuddle the puppies in the puppy condos all day. So it was really, it's really good for your health if you're not, you know, going to a therapist and talking it out. If that's not how you deal, like you can go out there and volunteer or you can foster here and it's just, it's good for your soul. Something Jackie said when she was here is that cats and i'm sure the true is same for other animals and dogs too is that they they speed healing in the body that resonated with me because i've gone through some tough times and if it weren't for my two kitties kensington and saint andrew i may not have gotten better as soon as i did i've recently been ill and my cats were right there and it was like they knew that oh, i yeah. was sick My cat was not a sit in your lap person. And when I was going through my treatment, she would come and lay on me. And like, she never did that unless I was sick. So absolutely. Yes. And I've been getting to know y'all a little bit over time, a little bit online and around Floriopolis. And I've I've realized that you are a a creative person. Do you have any creative intentions for the month of September? And if so, what are they? So other than the party, we don't have anything set in stone right now. I would love to do another cleanup if we can get that going. Next weekend's real busy. We're Friday night going to volunteer with the in the crew of St. Andrews. So the seafood festival is going on down here. So I'm going to be working that Friday night. And then Saturday, prepping for the party and Sunday party time. So that'll be going on for October, you know, the Halloween fest that happens every year will be coming up soon. So we'll be planning that. I just recently got involved with the Waterfront Partnership on the Community Engagement Committee, and we're coming up with new ideas and things to do. We'll be helping put back the signs for the bird trail that Hurricane Michael took out. We're working in conjunction with the Audubon Society to get that going. So we'll get that together. We'll have a grand opening. 
We're talking about maybe having tours and things like that going on. So there's a lot of things in the works, just nothing uh, super concrete for September other than the party right now. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for everything that you and Sox do for the community. And one more question before we go. How can folks find you and Sox online in any kind of uh, rescue that you might be involved in? Sure. So Sox, you can find him on Instagram or Facebook under Sox the Mayor. We have a little bit of our art on Redbubble and Society6. You can, again, look up Sox the Mayor there, or I'm going to spell it out because if I say it, it's bad words, P-H-C-K-C-N-C-R. And if you sound that out, you can understand what that means. That is my art handle, if you want to call it that. So most of the rescues, the local foster-based art, you can find them through the Animals Helping in the 850 page, Facebook page. It's a, a public page there. And then they, of course, have their own websites with the Salty Cats of St. Andrews, Mewtwo's Refuge, BFF Animal Refuge. If you can't find that by BFF, type in Becky's Furry Friends and you'll find them that way. Nine Lives is another kitty rescue that works for those guys as well. You'll find them at the farmer's markets uh, here in downtown a lot as well. And then Aliqua is aliqua.org. There's how you can volunteer, how you can foster. They have the pets that are available for adoption there we have dogs cats horses goats pigs when we move to the new facility we're gonna get a wildlife license so there'll be even wildlife rehab going on things like that as well so again that'll be coming soon hopefully wonderful well thank you both for being here today socks like he's Looks like he's ready to go. <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited for Sunday, and I'll see y'all there. And happy 14th birthday, Socks. And until next time, keep saying Andrew Salty. Thank you. Red lipstick, so thick, and a push-up bra. Tramp stamp, stretch marks, and a lacy thong, cause she's a Jezebel. St. Andrew Jezebel, cause she's a Jezebel, St. Andrew Jezebel.